to wear my mask. I'm inside a closed room here at the library, so it is safe for me to take my mask off in here. If you visit the library, you got to have your mask on. Good morning. I haven't done a live story time in months, so we'll see how this goes. I've been recording everything and sharing them elsewhere, sharing them on our YouTube channel. So if you missed anything, there's tons of content on our YouTube channel that you can check out. Sorry, I didn't pull up my ukulele music. Let me find that real quick here. I'll wait a minute to see if anybody else joins us. I think Madeline and Eli are here, or they were. Uh, so good morning, guys. It was good to see you guys at Walmart the other night, even though it was behind masks and everything. fun song that I, actually a bunch of fun songs um, that I don't think are going to work so well to do with the story time, but um, I will share a link with this because there's a lot of really fun stuff. Uh, just like, they're piggyback songs that are Christmas themed, uh, really fun stuff, so. Um, yeah, I put it on the lot, I apologize. All right, well, this is our Christmas story time. Um, I actually did make 31 holiday story videos that go up at 4 o'clock every afternoon, kind of like a little Christmas story advent countdown kind of thing. Uh, so those are available every afternoon on our YouTube channel, and they'll stay up through the Christmas season, so you can check them out at any time. Bridget Fields and the illustrations are by Joy Ang. Now, if you have read the other Mustache Baby books, you know, Mustache Baby, he, he was born with a mustache. Were any of you born with mustaches? Probably not. I mean, babies and little kids don't usually have mustaches. Uh, well, this was published by Clarion Books. Now, we're going to find out about this Mustache Baby at Christmas time. Okay. Oh, there they are. You know that baby Billy was born with a mustache and that baby Javier was born with a beard. But did you know that on Christmas Eve, Javier's beard turned white? Who does he look like? He looks like Santa. That made him Santa's number one little helper, Santa Baby. And his job was to deliver presents to all the babies in the world, and there was no time to waste. First, he listened to the baby's Christmas wishes. Then he made a list and checked 
to twice the vast importance. The babies were mostly nice, but a few were awfully close to going on the naughty list. Uh-oh, babies better be good. Next, Santa Baby readied the reindeer for their big night. Oh, are those reindeer? tasted the treats that Mrs. Claus was making. It was his duty to test each and every one. Like, yeah, you gotta taste the treats. With the hustle and bustle of Christmas Eve, Santa Baby hadn't had time to make the toys. Oh no! And there were so many on the list. Just then, Baby Billy came stashing through the snow. In a twinkling, he offered to be an elf at Santa Baby's workshop. Oh, I think he needs some elves. He toiled and tinkered in the workshop all day. Oh, what was they making? But finally, he stepped back to admire his work. What a wonderful sight. All those fun toys he made for the kids. So wonderful, in fact, that Billy decided to keep all the toys for himself after he made them. Mine, mine, mine. Billy, you can't keep them all for yourself. That's not nice. As the trucks, trains, and trinkets piled higher, Elf Baby's mustache grew and curled up at the ends till he had a bad guy mustache. Oh no! Look at that mustache. And on Christmas Eve, he has a bad guy mustache? That's not good. When Santa Baby came to load his sleigh, he couldn't believe his eyes. Elves were supposed to make toys, not take toys. Yet Billy had turned the winter wonderland into a winter plunderland. Santa Baby picked up his crayon and scribbled Billy's name onto the naughty list. Oh no! Well, that really frosted Billy's cookies. In a fit of holiday rage, he undecked the halls and snatched Santa Baby's Christmas sweets for himself. Oh, oh no, he got in trouble. Ho, 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 no, he didn't. Santa Baby's beard grew fluffier and fluffier as he hit Billy had, well, not a bad guy beard, because he was Santa Baby after all, but a mad guy beard. Ooh. Check out that beard, guys. Uh, uh, oh, he's like showing his teeth. He is really mad. He saddled up the reindeer, which, you know, are his dogs, and gave chase. Think he can catch him? Oh, he's throwing snowballs. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Santa Baby's aim was ice cold, and Billy dropped the treats and took cover. Then, ready, set, splat! Oh no! Who did he hit? He hit the dog with the snowball! Oh, poor puppy! Oh no! Santa Baby and Elf Baby rushed to the reindeer's aid. Oh, poor puppy! They brushed the snow off him, took him inside, and gave him a special remedy. And look what remedy he got. He's got a candy cane. That'll make him feel better. So let's not give her a real dog's candy cane. Billy apologized for causing all the trouble. And filled with Christmas spirit, Santa Baby made Billy his elf again. Billy soon realized that it was better to give than to receive. Absolutely. He's giving out treats to everybody. Just then, Jingle Bells ran out overhead. It was Santa grown up there to deliver two very special presents. Do you think he's bringing presents for Santa Baby and Santa Elf? I hope so. First, he checked his list and he checked it twice. Oh, yay! Billy's name is back on the nice list by a hair. 
Billy and Javier have done such a good job with their friends that Santa asked them to help deliver presents all over the world. Into the sleigh they hopped and off they flew. And kids heard them exclaim as they rode out of sight, Merry mustache to all, and to all a beard light. But that's the end. I thought it was a mustache baby Christmas. Sorry, Bridget Pants. go right ahead. I'm going to go ahead and move to our next story just so that our video isn't so super long. But our next story, I saved this one just for my niece Penelope because I know this is one of her favorites. And this is A Little Blue Fox Christmas. And this one is by Alice Shirtle and illustrated by Jill McElmurray. And let's see who it is published by. And it is published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. So thank you to them for letting us letting me share this book. Okay, you guys ready to beep? You ready to beep the truck? Beep, beep, beep. Get your beepers ready. Okay. Uh, beep, beep, beep. December's here. Little blue truck is full of cheer. There she is. Every Christmas, little blue has a delivery job to do. What does she get to deliver? Oh my gosh, look at all those beautiful Christmas trees. How fun. Five trees ready to take a ride. How many trees will fit inside? Oh my goodness, that first one they put in is pretty big. Can they get them all in there? I hope so. One tree. There's two, two trees, three trees, four, just enough room for one tree more. Look at that big tree that's gonna fit in the truck. It's a giant one. Five green trees make one big load. And what does the truck say? Beep, says Blue, let's hit the road. Blue has friends both far and near who needs a Christmas tree this year? Oh, everybody needs Christmas trees this year. Bring us some happiness. Honk, says Goose. This big one, please. Oh my god. Oh, Goose took that great big one. Now there are four green Christmas trees. Moo, says the cow. This tall one, please. Oh, this is not skinny one. Now there are three green Christmas trees. Oh, we're delivering to the pigs now. What does Larry Pig say? You guys know, right? Oink, oink. Oink, says the pig. This fat one, please. Oh, they want with the big round one. Now there are two green Christmas trees. Meh, says the goat. This short one, please. Now there is one green Christmas tree. Little blue truck only has one tree left. Who, who do you think is going to get that tree? Who's going to get the Christmas tree? One tree left in a little blue truck. One tree left. What very good luck. Little blue truck needs a Christmas tree. All right, and what does blue truck say? Beep, beep, beep. This one's for me. And look at those twinkling lights. Let me see if I get it in. Let's go take it up. There they go. Little twinkling lights. Oh, at least a little blue truck got the last Christmas tree. I'm so happy for her. She needs a Christmas tree. And that's the end. I can see this. A few of my friends have joined us online, so hello, welcome. Um, this will be a uh, video, I'm videoing this, so it'll be shared later on our uh, YouTube channel. So if you came in later, you missed part of it, you can catch it later. Um, I do have one more story for you. If you need to take a break and get some wiggles out, go for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with our next story, though. And this, this is one of my favorite.
favorite because it's kind of a game and I want to play a game with you guys. Do you think you're ready for it? All right, you're, you're in the holiday mood. You got those holiday brains turned on. You're thinking about Christmas and, and all the good fun things that come with Christmas, right? Okay, are you ready for the game? This is What Am I Christmas? So it's kind of like a quiz. I will ask you guys some questions and I'll show you some of the pictures. Some of them I might hide a little bit to make it a little trickier for you. But you gotta figure out what the Christmas thing is before I open the flap, okay? Okay, so here's our first one. Make sure you guys can see it. I am topped with a golden star and my needles are green. What am I? What could I be? What do you guys think? Golden star on top, green needles. You ready? Let's find out. I'm an evergreen, a Christmas tree. That's me. Ooh, pretty Christmas tree. Okay, this, this next one seems to be a hard one for people. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. Uh, I see, hmm, what is this? I make music cheery and bright, and my feathery wings are beautiful and light. What am I? What could I be? Oh, this is what he makes music, and it has wings, it has feathers. What do you think this could be? Are you ready? Let's check it out. I'm a Christmas angel. That's me. There's the angel. Good job. Oh, this one I think you guys will get. Okay. I'm frosted and sweet. I have cinnamon candy eyes and gumdrop buttons. What am I? What could I be? What do you guys think? All right. Oh, I had to guess just from the edge of the picture there. I'm a gingerbread man. That's me. Oh, yummy. Okay, here's the hardest one in the whole book. Are you ready for it? Oh, no, it's a hard one. Get those thinking caps on and be ready. Okay. I am made of evergreens and decorated with bows. I welcome all the Christmas guests. Oh, it's welcoming the guests, and it's green and has bows. I'll give you another hint that it's a circle shape. What am I? What could I be? Can you guys tell? Are we ready? Ready for it? Can you make your guess? I'm a wreath, <clears throat> a Christmas wreath. That's me. Oh, here's a good one. You guys ready for it? I'll bust it away. I fly Santa's sleigh. We fly Santa's sleigh. What am I? What could I be? I bet you guys know this one. I'm Santa's reindeer. That's me. Now, what do you guys think? Is this Rudolph? Everybody always guesses Rudolph, but take a close look. All right. Rudolph has a red nose, and this one's black. So I, I think that's Dasher or Dancer or one of the other reindeer. I don't think that one's Rudolph. <clears throat> Here's our next puzzle. I am made of cloth and hang by the fireplace waiting for Santa. What am I? What could I be? Oh, what do you think? Sometimes Santa Claus puts treats in it. Let's see. I'm a Christmas stocking. That's me. They make a pretty stocking. Oh, I like this one. You guys ready? I am rolled from snow and I wear a black top hat. I have button eyes and a carrot for a nose. What am I? What could I be? What do you guys think? Made out of snow, wearing a top hat. I'm a snowman, that's me. Oh, I like this one too. Let's see, maybe I hide the pictures a little bit. Maybe too easy for you guys. I am wrapped in dazzling colors and decorated with a bow. A surprise hides inside of me. What am I? What could I be? What do you think? It's a surprise. It's all wrapped up. It's a present. That's me. Oh my goodness, what did this person get as a present? They got a puppy. What a cool present. All right, now I'm not gonna let you guys see the picture for this one. You gotta figure it out. 
My ears are pointy and I wear a bell on my head. I love to make toys. What am I? What could I be? What do you guys think? Makes toys, pointy ears, bell on his hat. That's part of his coat. I'm a Christmas elf! That's me! And what did this elf make? He made a train! Oh, that would be a good present for somebody. Oh, I'm going to hide the picture again. My red and white stripes swirl around me and I taste like peppermint. What am I? What could I be? Can you guys think of something that's red and white swirls and tastes like peppermint? One of those sweet treats. What am I? What could I be? I'm a candy cane! A sweet treat. That's me. Okay, this is the last one. I don't know guys, this one might be too hard for you. Are you ready for it? Okay. Ho, 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 I have a jolly belly and I wear a suit of red and white. What am I? What could I be? You ready? You guys know, right? You know who this is. I'm Santa Claus from the North Pole. That's me. There he is. Yay. What am I? What could I be? I am Christmas. That's me. Oh, that great Christmas stuff. Oh, you guys are so smart. All right. Well, I did a lot of books because I wanted to share some of my favorite Christmas stories with you guys. And different, um, there are lots of holiday stories. They're not all Christmas. There's some Hanukkah. There's some Solstice. There's some New Year's. Uh, in the collection, but if you go to our YouTube channel and check out the Holiday Bedtime Stories playlist, a new story is added every afternoon at 4 o'clock, uh, so you can enjoy some, some more Christmas stories, more than what I'm presenting here, uh, or stop into the library and take some home for yourselves, because we do have plenty, and we are open, just make sure you wear your masks when you come in. Um, so I will post the link to all the great fun Christmas activity rhymes that I had. Uh, I'm going to sign off here with a quick song. Are you guys ready to sing with me? All right. Hopefully you guys know this one. It's, it's another easy one. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Very nice. Merry Christmas, my friends. I miss all of you so much, and I can't wait to see everybody back at the library as soon as we can. Bye.